welcome back. You've heard us talk about all sorts of great wines out of Napa, and there's a new one emerging called Odette Estate. Here today we have John Canaver and Jeff Owens, and they're here to tell us all about it. Welcome, guys. Thank you, Thank you so much for coming. So tell us about this new amazing property. Something like 56 acres of vineyards, just amazing, right? On the beautiful Napa Valley, we're so lucky we have three wineries, Plump Jack Cade and our newest Odette, and all on the valley floor, just a beautiful place on earth. Awesome, I think we have a little video that we can show. <laughs> and maybe you guys can just walk us through. So it's actually the design of our, our brand new winery, so it's gold okay. certified. Uh, everything that we try to do, we try to do as green as possible. Yeah, so I was reading sure up on that. to make sure that we're building, uh, not just for us right now in the moment, but for generations to come. Um, so as you see here, it's, it's the whole construction project, project process, excuse me. Um, and we just completed. So we actually had our first harvest in 2014. With a new Congratulations. Building. Thank you so much. Super exciting. Awesome. And so when did this kind of project start for you guys? We bought the property in 2012. Um, and from the very beginning, we knew that's some really special land in, in the Stags Leap District and realized we wanted to do something green, uh, socially conscious and, and special. So um, K uh, Odette was born. So now we have this gorgeous little getaway that I need to visit. <laughs> <laughs> Visitors are always welcome, especially October. If you want to help us pick grapes and make some wine, we, we'd always use a little more help. Done, well, October. <laughs> it's my birthday, so I have a birthday trip plan now. So you have three wines that we're going to taste today. Absolutely. Let's get started. All right, let's I do it. I need a drink. I see. I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the... But then we've been doing the screw tops lately. Screw cap, absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is the way to go for white wines, no doubt. Um, you know, there's issues with corks, and, and corks are natural, so you're not going to get the same thing every single right. time. So screw caps are um, something that provides a lot of consistency. So it's great, great closure. Innovation like for it. wine. <laughs> yes. So, John, let me hear it for you. So awesome. 2013. Okay. And this is Napa a... Napa Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. So 100% Napa Valley. It's a great way to start off the day, evening, uh, dinner. We like starting it. off our you day here at the right broadcast now. with a little bit of wine. <laughs> 8.30 is not too early to drink. Yeah. Let's try this one. Mm, so very so refreshing. So light, crisp. Yeah, melons, grapefruit. Uh, it's very energetic, lively, kind of dances across the palate. It's the beautiful, beautiful mm. one. Perfect for a warm Texas day. Yes. Mm, this is great. Let's try the next one. So now this one is your this, pride and this, joy, This right? is my baby right here. Can I do a little bragging for you? You can definitely so do So your debut of this wine scored 100 points, correct? It did. I feel very that's, honored. That's never happened before. It's wow. never happened that I know of. It's, it's, uh, it's quite an honor. Well, yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Really Get to porn. It. I want to try this bad boy. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, my baby. It's a 2012 Odette. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from Stag's Leap. So besides coming and visiting you guys in Napa, where can our viewers get these great wines? I need to store it 100 <laughs> <laughs> Sure thing. Uh, always directly oh. through us at the winery. Um, you can reach out. Oh, Jeff. <laughs> That's Not bad good. as your first try. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting the spot. That's really good. Oh, Thank it you. has Thank like so a... It has a sweetness to it that I wasn't expecting. It's Great really nice. Of fruit. Yeah, it's a perceived sweetness, so it's not actually sweet, but it, the, the sweetness really makes the fruit kind of pop mm -hmm. into the forefront. Oh my uh, God, that's a great thing. So good. So. Yeah, Lisa and I will be happy to finish that bottle. <laughs> 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 and then let's try that third one, even though this one is amazing. What would I you think they're all amazing. What would you eat with this? What would you pair this with? Um, you know, not something that's too overpowering. Um, some lamb actually comes to mind Ooh. first thing. So you want, you know, something that's got a little bit of substance, but not something that's over the top. Oh my gosh. So I wish that nice. Haley Cogill, our, our wine and spirits expert, was here because she would love this. Yes. <laughs> I think she's in tomorrow, so she's going to be one day late. <laughs> but for us, that means more wine. That's so right. we'll be happy. That's right. oh, I'm excited to try and then, this one. Lastly, this is the 2011 Cade um, Howell Mountain Cabernet Sauvignon from our sister property oh my God. Uh, up on Hell Mountain. Amazing. Well, you can get details and more at odetteestate.com. Thank you so much for coming Thanks in, guys. For Thank you for having us. Thanks, Thanks for letting me crash your segment. <laughs> <laughs>